questions answered targets met have to meet this client today oh hi i was just checking my schedule i'm already late for work i have so many things left to do iron my clothes take my laptop my own coffee have my breakfast take my phone out of charge wrapping up all these things i send it to my car and leave for office not again driver please play the music i hate the traffic but the music player in my car helps me take a chill pill nice song And finally here I am settling in my chamber. But did you notice something? We do so many things right from the beginning of our day and there's something common in all of these activities. Any guesses? No, it is electricity. Yes, everything is in some way or the other dependent upon electricity. Be it the laptop, the iron press, the coffee maker, the phone charger, and even the car and the music player are all in some way or the other dependent upon electricity. And you know what? Electricity is just a general term which we use in our daily life to define electric current, which helps in the operation of all electronic devices and in fact everything that is dependent upon electricity. So. the real technical term that plays a major role is called electric current so what is electric current when electrons move through a conductor an electric current is created just to make you recollect electrons are negatively charged particles that is to say they possess negative electric charge and i believe you know what a conductor is no to worry a conductor is an object or a type of material that allows the flow of electrical current in one or more directions a metal wire is a common example of an electrical conductor like this copper wire here is a very common example of an electrical conductor coming back to our definition electrons moving through a conductor create an electric current now a current that flows only in one direction is called a direct current or dc a current that keeps alternating back and forth is called an alternating current or ac